Modularity. C++, The Basics. A C++ program consists of many separately developed parts, such as functions, user-defined types, class hierarchies, and templates. The key to managing this is to clearly define the interactions among those parts. The first and most important step is to distinguish between the interface to a part and its implementation. At the language level, C++ represents interfaces by declarations. A declaration specifies all that's needed to use a function or a type. For example, double sqrt double equals the square root function takes a double and returns a double. Class vector public vector int s double int operator int i int size private Double asterisk operator lm equals lm points to an array of sz doubles. Int sz. The key point here is that the function bodies, the function definitions, are elsewhere. For this example, we might like for the representation of vector to be elsewhere also. But we will deal with that later. The definition of sqrt will look like this. Double sqrt double d equals definition of sqrt. Algorithm as found in math textbook. For vector, we need to define all three member functions. Vector vector int s equals definition of the constructor. Lm new double s szs equals initialize members. Double int vector operator int i equals definition of subscripting. Return lm i. Int vector size equals definition of size. Return sz. We must define vectors functions, but not sqrt because it is part of the standard library. However, that makes no real difference. A library is simply some other code we happen to use written with the same language facilities as we use. Thank you for watching.